the treatments. Mm, blimey. I'd have been happy with Cocoa Pops. It's Sunday. Besides, the bacon is grilled, the eggs are poached, so you don't have to worry about calories. You saying I'm fat? No, of course not. <laughs> oh, shut up. I'm just winding you up. It's great. Top up. OK. Can you give it a rest? What? The whole Stepford wife bit's creeping me out. Can a bloke not make his girlfriend a nice breakfast every now and again? Look, Steve, I know why you're doing this. But it's not me you should be crawling to, it's Dan. <sighs> I've tried apologising. Right, well, try harder. Why, are you worried who's going to make your breakfast when I'm banged up? No, don't even joke about that. Just go and see him, please. Can't stand having this hanging over us. Right, I'll see you later. I can't believe you're still working with the guy who did this to me. Well, one of us has to win, don't we? Bye. Oi! Jack was about to infiltrate the terrorist cell, then. You've had that box set on non-stop. It's driving me nuts. How many episodes are there, anyway? Uh, it's called 24. Take a wild guess. What's that? Digital radio. What's it look like? Oh, well, I fancy a cooked breakfast. Yeah, and I fancy a fortnight in the Argyle. What's your point? Oh, I'd love a brew if you put in the kettle on. There's me offering to do him at roast tonight. So we got a fresh goes for a chicken. Think it'd be simple, right? I'm guessing not. All oh, these nice big chickens there. Two ninety-nine. Yes, their value range. A euphemism for battery, of course. But we're not allowed them, are we? Oh no, no. His Majesty there picks up one of your so-called organics. Guess how much? No, go on, go on. I don't know, fiver. You were lucky. Twelve quid. For a flaming chicken! You are missing the point. Organic chickens live their lives in comfortable, spacious surroundings. More than I ever have. Twelve quid. It's two packs of bags, that. And uh, there's your change. Hiya. All right. You weren't going to be club later, Lloyd? Probably. Thought you were cooking royal roast. Oh, well, I got sick of arguing with a minute and just grab some sausages. Organic. Tinned. <laughs> I'll see ya. How you been? Fine. Um, Roy, can you do this? I need to get some tables cleared. Uh, certainly, yes. Um... Come on, Ad. Glad this one managed to keep his legs crossed on that last stretch. Hey, if I can hold my bladder, so can he. <laughs> I better take you for a quick spin round the block. Glad to be back. Oh, not really. Would have stayed another fortnight. Mm, you know. mm. When you get the kettle on before he explodes. <laughs> All right, mate. Good holiday. Spot on, mate. We miss anything while we're away? Ah, uh, you know, same old, same old. All right, kid. Just saw Becky cross the road. Oh, please don't. Am I still working here? Of course, yeah. How's Dan? Oh, yeah, I was gonna say. Oh, you know, not bad after being locked down your cellar all night and nearly dying. If I'd known he was hurt... Tell that to his spleen. Oh, no, you can't, can you, cos he hasn't got one now, has he? Do you actually need a spleen? Or is it a bit like tonsils? You know the way we were winding each other up? It just got out of hand. Oh, right. So you locked him in the cellar. Hilarious. Yeah, all this stuff about him begging for an ambulance, though. Do you honestly think Steve would have left him down there if that was true? You wouldn't. Of course I wouldn't. Well, not according to Dan. This is dead serious. <laughs> Michelle, you'd have to tell me that. Leanne, how long have you known me? Ten years? Look me in the eye and tell me that you think I'd deliberately try and note Dan. Or anybody. Look, this has got nothing to do with me. Can't you have a word, this police statement? Uh, no, I can. You two started this stupid peeing contest. You two can sort it out. Did you hear that? I'll go down there later, I swear. Beg like a dog if I have to. Hello. Hi. 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 
Yeah, two uh, takeaway coffees, please. We're taking advantage of the weather and giving Eccles a nice long walk. Oh, I'll do it. How was Hayley? Oh, very, very well. Starting work on a new classroom for the village school this week. So, uh, where is she again? Mozambique, Southern Africa. Yes, I know where Mozambique is, Kate. There you go, yeah. kids. Enjoy your walk. Thank you. Actually, Ken is entitled to a 10% staff discount. Oh, oh well, that, very kind. Thank you very much. <laughs> anyway, give her our best, will you, Roy? Yeah. I will. Ta da. Bye. 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 Becky, listen, man. Look, sunshine. It was fun while it lasted, right? I thought we had a laugh. Exactly. And that's all it was a laugh. I don't get you. Ah, well, that is because I am a riddle wrapped in a mystery, surrounded by. Oh, Roy, what am I again? An enigma. Yes. It was Churchill's description of Russia in 94. Um, yes. I don't understand this, Becky. I thought you were into me. How many times, Jay? Move on. I have. Can I just say? Oh, you got any more dirty stuff before I put this wash on? No, that's a lot. I'm starving, actually. Not fancy cooking, do you? Oh, we can pop to the pub. Yeah, if you want. God, that all of you was just what we needed. So you reckon it's time to put this back on, Mrs. Connor? And they lived happily ever after. Oh, flaming hope so. <laughs> hey, you know what we were saying when we were away? About maybe trying for another baby? Hmm. Are you still up for it? Of course I am, yeah. Why wouldn't I be? Oh, I don't know. It's just... Things are different when you're away, aren't they? I just thought, once yeah. we get back... You... Hey. I'm up for starting straight away. Uh, well, I wouldn't mind getting some dinner first. Look, I know we can never, ever replace Paul. Look, as long as you're ready, then let's go for it, yeah? I mean, I've got the easy part. <laughs> yeah, we'll make sure Carla gives you loads of paternity time too, yeah? I'll take as much time as I like. She's not my boss. Oh, well, technically that uh, isn't... Forget Carla. Let's just concentrate on us, eh? <laughs> See, the lovebirds are back. You want to pop in and say hello? Mmm. Coffee and bickies with Little Miss Muffet or a large body and tonic in the Rovers. Difficult decision. Pasties, yes. Well, I'm sorry, you should have said. Look, we're nearly old now. Yeah, bye. Oh. What now? Pasties for Sunday dinner? It's an insult. Ooh, whenever we do a roast, she only ever picks at it. Oh, you should have heard her. It's tradition, Deirdre. Up with the lark, peeling the spuds, getting your batter ready for the Yorkshire puddings, the smell of the joint as you walk home from church. Yeah, we should never have got to that Cranford DVD. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I don't know what, why don't I nip to Fresh Girls and get us a chicken? Well, if you sure. If he keeps the old bat quiet. Hey, that's my old bat you're talking about. Our old bat. <laughs> I was desperate, Dan. Oh, loving the attention. You know what blokes are like in the parlour. Uh, bloke in earshot here. I still can't believe that Steve would have done that to him. Oh. Deliberate, I think. Well, I'm not sure I've got the real story yet. Ken, how are you? Fine. Well, that's very kind. Just a half, please. Janice? Hi, you can. How do I get myself in these situations? Do you mean the GBH thing or the cheating on your girlfriend thing? It's been a busy week for you, kid. Oh, God. Listen, I'd state me life that Dan's not going to go through with all this. He doesn't want to see you banged up. He's just enjoying making you sweat. Oh, I flipping hope so. Whereas Becky... <sighs> You think I should say something or uh, let sleeping dogs lie? If you do speak to her, I'd avoid phrases like sleeping dogs lie. 
the pickles you get yourself into, such a thing. Uh, excuse me. I'm not the one that's had some chavvy moves turn up and reveal that I'm the proud daddy of a seven-year-old. That's below the belt. Well, that's rich, considering the way you've been ripping into me. Well, he's a sweet kid, his family. I think about getting him something. Hey, Ryan's the big computer game geek, isn't he? You can tell me once the fin like. Oh, Ryan's got a load of old games he doesn't play with anymore. Michelle's always saying what a waste of money it is, if you're interested. Right. So that Michelle finds out about Becky, she'll say. Well, at least he made Ryan a few quid in his old computer games. He can't be all that bad. <laughs> to what, my not. Well, hello, you two. Ah, the ones that are so tan. You look well. Oh, I feel it, sir. Let me, what happened to you? Um, worse than it looks. Bake accident I was envisioning. Mm. Bound to happen. Hmm? Well, according to Katie Mellower, there are nine million bicycles in Beijing. <laughs> Was a musical warning completely lost on you? There's the incisive wit I've been missing. Oh, <laughs> nice to see you and all. Did I say it was nice? <clears throat> so, good holiday. Oh, yeah. We loved Landod now, didn't we, babe? Yep. Glad hmm. we didn't book that in our luxury private yacht in Bermuda now. <laughs> was that ever an option? <laughs> <laughs> Here, shit. Ah! Oh, oh, shut up, you big girl. Listen, I reckon it's time we had a little chat, don't you? Ah, uh, don't budge at me. I'm supposed to be resting. This statement of yours to the police. Do you really want to do this to Steve? After what happened, what do you think? Look, no one's more furious than I am that you've ended up in this state. I mean, I could have happily killed Steve myself. But come on. Come on what? Well, I reckon I'm a pretty good judge of character. Oh, yes, that's a man with three ex-wives. Excuse me, I'll let that go, seeing as how you're still in recovery. I'm... Locking you in a cellar for a laugh, I can believe. I'm trying to kill you, though. Well, maybe he's just very competitive. The more you make cracks like that, the more it sounds like you are telling porkies, sunshine. Can I just please get through me box set? I'm an invalid. Oh, yeah. And don't we all know it? Great new book I've got, Chatsworth. Can't put it down. I can vouch for that. I've had the highlights in bed all week. Amazing history, that has. I'll lend you it when I've finished. Did you know the last Duke's brother was married to John F. Kennedy's sister? A Kennedy at Chatsworth? Wow. What happened to her? Died in a plane crash. Not much luck, that family. And Dan's told the police that Steve left him down there on purpose? Yeah, it's all just got out of hand. Hey, Liam. Sort your boyfriend out. Liam? Are you? Keep your nose out. You never saw the state Dan was in. Yeah, but he's all right now, though, isn't he? Oh, yeah, I get it. Closing ranks, as per. Just shut up, you lot. You're not helping. Please, Leanne, can you not just have a word with Dan? Steve's in bits about this. Hey, you know these old games that Ryan don't play with anymore? Lord, he's only given us 30 quid for him. Oh, yeah, he's devastated, isn't he? What the hell are you doing? I'm getting some pocket money for Ryan. I thought you'd be pleased. Right, so you could be going down and you're running around playing multicoloured swap shop. Huh? What is going on in your head? The way you've been acting the last couple of days. Uh, sorry. You know, it's all this stuff you down. Right. Well, for God's sake, get yourself over there and sort it out now. Yeah, yeah, of course. <sighs> Cheers. So, um, was, uh, was Dan really hurt that bad? Who am I, the district nurse? How the hell should I know? I've been up to here with the factory. Yeah, well, he's back now, isn't he? In? I get more use out of that mutt of yours. Just going to the little girl's room. Uh, how is he? Resting. Of course, yeah. It's just I was... Well, we all were very worried, you know? About saving your own skin. Oh, come on, Harry, mate. There's no way I put Dan in any danger. The whole thing. Listen, just... save it, will you? I've heard it all before. Prank got out of hand. Wasn't me, Gub, etc., etc., etc. I know how it must seem. But my boy nearly died. I know. Look, God's honest truth, Harry. Look. Just leave it with me, yeah? Well, you're 
I mean, leave it with me, all right? Hanging round ladies lose now, are we? Classic. I just want to make sure, look, um, Murray's had a really tough time. Poor love. Um, we want a fresh start, you know? Draw a line under everything. Sounds just peachy. I just need to know what happened between me and you. Don't flatter yourself, Liam. It was hardly that memorable. Right. Well, look, um, between us, we, um, we're trying for another baby. So... Read my lips. OK, I don't care what you and her get up to. Just leave me out of it. A chicken, please, love. Hey? A chicken, free range if you've got one. <laughs> Deirdre, we don't sell chickens. Really? Well, that's odd. Look, I'm sorry, love, I'm sorry, I got a sidetrack. You see, Kenneth here went out for a chicken for our dinner. Ooh, must have been an hour or so ago. So, uh, if you don't sell chickens, what on earth could he be doing here? Yeah, well, come on, I'm sure Devil will have one. Yes, and you can explain to that old bat, as you put it, why she's had to wait all afternoon for her dinner. Lee dies. Oh. Poor old Ken. <laughs> Never mind, poor Ken. I've been that bored the last hour. Nearly chewed me arm off. Oh, sorry, love. Once I get started on Chatsworth. And if I hear one more word about the flaming Duke of Devonshire, you'll get one of these right in the middle of your poor head. Well, it was all right, actually. At least he didn't slam the door in my face. Right, and he'll speak to Dan. That's what he says. You know, I'm wondering if maybe I should have a word and all. You know, try the gentle touch. Cider, pint. Steve. Sorry, what? Are you serving or are you catching flies? Yeah, of course. You all right? Fine, yeah. yeah. Fancy a pint? Well, I've, I've just got one. Oh. Do you want another player? Are you interested in the stately arms of Great Britain? <sighs> Couldn't even spell it, love. You're in, then. Yes. Should we get a table? Fine. Um, listen, why don't we have a drive into Cheshire? Grab lunch somewhere swanky. Mm. Swanky, eh? You've been reading your Michelin guides again. Well, I've just ordered us some food. Why don't we just eat here, eh? Get a DVD back at home. Thrills never end. That sounds like a uh, good idea. Do you fancy a swanky lunch? Take the kids. Steve, I'm working. We can't leave Leanne here on her own, especially not the way things are. Yeah. Just... Look, I've said I'm sorry. <laughs> Did you not think? that I might have wanted to go for a drink and all, instead of spending two hours peeling veg with my mother going, where's Ken with that chicken? Over and over and over. I'm sorry, I bumped into Roger. Oh, so you'd rather spend your Sunday with him than me? Thanks. Deirdre. Boring, is that it? Look, love, uh, why don't we go to the pub now? I'm not in the mood. Scrabble? Oh, oh. So you can show off your superior brain power. What then? We can do anything you like. Jenga. I always beat you at Jenga. Oh, as Becky might say, bring it on, baby. Double <laughs> oh. eighteen. Yes! I'm getting hammered here. Come on, Raj. Loser by the round. Again. <laughs> Love, same again. You get thrashed again, Roger. Yeah, by a couple of birds. My old fella will be turning in his grave. What can I say? Sisters are doing it for themselves. <laughs> Any action from the bunny boiler? I don't think she's gonna say anything. Keep her gulf shut. I don't think she said anything to Jace, do you? Doubt it. There's only one way to find out, though. Jay? Are you still in the house with Bex? She's not even talking to me now. Birds, eh? Ah, yeah, women. Uh, can't live with him, can't throw him in the canal. Sim again. Mm, yeah, great. 
Hey, you're really knocking them spritzers back, aren't you, love? She's a proper little Amy Winehouse, isn't she? Says the woman who's got threshers and speed dial. Yep, you're right. Ignore me. The things I'll say when I've had a few drinks inside me. Hey, I'll get these in, eh, Tony? Oh, cheers. I will have to mount an expedition to the toilet, though. <laughs> well, I can't help you with that one, sorry. <laughs> That what? I don't blame her for drinking. She's gonna have to stop soon enough, isn't she, when you knock her up again? <laughs> Keep your voice down, you're drunk. Don't tell me what to do. All right? What? You afraid I'm gonna spill the beans on what her beloved little husband's been up to? Or who? We've still got to work together. Oh, okay. No, we don't. See, this is the end. Oh, you want me to keep my mouth shut? Fine. You're going to have to sell your share of the factory to Tony. <laughs> Why do you want me to sign it over to him on the back of a bear mat? You serious? As a heart attack, sweetheart. <laughs> you want a clean slate, eh? Draw a line under everything? Well, guess what? Me too. I want you to leave that factory. Get out of my life for good. Otherwise, a crimper. Well, she gets to know exactly what a close little family we really are. <laughs>